did your training session at the dojo go then, Chase? Oh, uh, I haven't got round to it yet. But I'll get right on to it. Barry Smith, 24-hour plumber and kung fu guru, unblocking pipes and chakras since 1987. Huh. It's worth a try. I need to get that open. I wonder if I could use that. Just a tiny little piece of the egg. stands outside.
go too fast. Oh yeah, these tortoise martial arts are way easier than the regular ones. That torch only just burned long enough for me Another to get hat here. Stand. Huh. And yet, no one is wearing a hat. Don't go too fast. When I get out of here, I'm gonna complain to the manufacturers of these torches. They last like 10 seconds. So, were all the hats stolen? Oh, wait! These are wooden practice dummies for karate! <laughs> Hat stands, you idiot chase. Don't go too fast. enough bricks for that super build? I think I might. I thought Dunby had bad breath. None of these guys look like a berry to me. Maybe there's a bell I have to ring for service. A gong! That's even better than a bell. I'm here to see Be- Shh! Have a listen to this. Welcome to Learn Kung Fu While You Sleep. Relax. You are now completely relaxed. <laughs> the end. I know Kung Fu. Show me. And plumbing? you off against a few of my students. Look deep within yourself to find your hidden potential and you will triumph over your enemies. What also helps is throwing them around. Let's see what you can do, Chase. Oh, that's gonna come up nasty tomorrow. Not bad. 
Let's try up on the odds. Whoa. Oh, mate, come on. You made light work of that, Chase. You might not be so lucky this time. Empty your mind as you would a radiator before replacing it. Your movements must flow like water through the copper pipes of your intents. Ouch! Even I felt that. All right. Remember. A journey of 10,000 miles starts with a single, uh, phone call to a traffic Not bad! If a tree falls in a forest and lands on you, does it hurt? Yes, but not really, really. I hope you're good at arm wrestling. When fighting, your mind must be relaxed. Relaxed. Did you leave the oven on? It doesn't matter. It's in the tree. Relax. Ooh, he's going to be walking funny tomorrow. Try throwing them into each other. Come on. Ooh, that is out of steel. Now you're getting the hang of it. Throw another. body must be in peak physical condition, like a boiler which is regularly serviced. That's more like it. You'll find the guys dressed in brown a bit tougher. Your mind should be as free of doubt as a central heating system is with air bubbles. Ouch! Oh well. Risks when he joined the dojo. Just one more round to go, Chase. Oh, bro! Go on, throw another. You have done well. Take this belt with you as a sign of your skill. I can't accept this, Barry. Why? Oh, hello. Hey, Chase, are you busy? Does this have something to do with your favor, Ferelli? Yes! Funny story, I volunteered to pick up the department's new state-of-the-art police truck for its unveiling at the station this afternoon. And you've been hijacked by some criminals, right? Wow! How did you know? Wait, what number am I thinking of? I'll give you a clue. It's six. The truck, Frank? Oh, yeah. Well, they drove it around for a while, but we've stopped now. Any idea where you are? Um, when they were driving, I heard a really loud foghorn, so I think we went past the docks. Docks, uh-huh. Then I remember it feeling like we went over a train track. Train track, okay. And when we stopped, I looked out the window and saw Krabby Cove. You! I'll be right there. Where? Sorry, police business. Oops, sorry. Nah, 
They'll be fine. Are you in there, Frank? Yes! Is that you, Chase? Have you come to rescue me? Shh! Johnny! Go fetch the rest of the gang! Tell Mr. Chen we have company! Oh. I think the robbers are still around, so... BE QUIET! Are you having some kind of fight? I'll settle for getting out of here alive. And I thought I was unambitious. I hope we get back in time. I don't want to let Ellie down. One of the gang members mentioned someone called Chan. Any idea who that is, Frank? Ah, uh, probably Chan Chuang. He's pretty new to Lego City, but I heard he runs the biggest chop shop in town. I hope they taste nice. The chop shop is where they dismantle stolen vehicles, Frank. Oh. I guess I should cancel that reservation. I think this Chan's connected to Rex Fury. <laughs> this is like being on a roller coaster, only without any of the boring safety. Gonna check in the back of here because a lot of stuff has fallen out of the cupboards. If it weren't for the bad guys chasing us, this would be a lot of fun. This is just like that time I put my RV on cruise control so I could have a nap in the back. Of insurance on this thing. All right, now I'm beginning to feel a bit ill. Looks like they've stopped following us. Good driving. Could you pull over on that corner up ahead, please? Do you mind if I drive it from here? I want to show Ellie that I can be trusted. All right. Enjoy getting your photo in the papers, Frank. Ha! I can't wait all day, Marion. I have to reopen the bridge this afternoon. Where is that truck? As if I'm interested in fame and fortune. Oh! <gasps> My public! Ah, here it comes, Mayor Gleason. <laughs> right on time. Here I am with our new truck! Good old Frank Honey delivers again! Coming through! Honey! Honey! Out of the way! Sorry, madam! Hi there, 
Mayor, Mayor Gleason. Hey, Chief. Dunby! Honey! Waffles! What are we doing? Well, what did you expect to happen with Frank driving it? This is your fault, Marion. Whoa. Chase, give me some good news. Have you found Rex Fury? Well... How could you find him? I mean, the Chief told you to stay off his case. Oh, really? <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> it isn't, Chase. No? That's right. I was just about to, to send him undercover in, uh, uh, Cheng Chuang's gang? I think he's linked to Rex. Uh, yes! <laughs> hmm. Well, that was broke when I got here. You hiding down here? You betcha. I'm staying as far from Dumby as possible. And I saw a spider. I have no idea how we're gonna get out of this mess. Oh, it's easy. I expect my parents will pay for it. Like usual. Huh? You know they're really rich, right? They own that hotel in Paradise Sands. Oh. It all makes sense now. Anyway, Chase is going undercover. He'll need new clothes. Well, congratulations, Chase. Hey, that's quite the transformation. I barely recognize you. Yeah. Who's that strange man in the garage? Right. I'm off to figure out how to get into Chan's gang. I hope they've reopened the bridge to the main island. Good luck with that, Chase. That was Chase? Okay, let's find a way to get into your gang, Mr. Chan. Hey, Chase. Now you're an undercover detective, I've added a new function to your communicator. Is it a voice recorder? So I can do private eye style monologues? No. I was disappointed, but I decided to hear the lady out. It's an audio scanner. You just point it at a window and you can hear what's being said inside the room. You'll need to get to a vantage point to use it, though. It sounded like it might be useful. I thank the nice lady and set off into the night. It's the daytime. Good luck, Chase. I should get to somewhere I can listen out for clues. Thank you. 
I'd like to order um, deep pan pepperoni with mushrooms and I like a bottle of cola with that. Why am I phoning you? Because you're late for your interview. Where are you? Oh, you're meant to be a Chan's limo place. Get a move on. Can you believe that? That Bucky Butler guy. The one who wants to join the gang? Yeah, he was at the art gallery. Well, they do have an excellent collection of Cubist sculptures. What does Cubist mean? <laughs> <laughs> Bucky Butler. Why is that name familiar? I busted that guy, like two years ago. If I get him out of the picture, then I can take his place at the job interview and join Chan's gang. Sorry! They'll be fine. Oh no! Oh heck! What do you think of this one? Hmm. You know how they say a picture paints a thousand words? Goodbye, sir. I hope you enjoyed the gallery. Uh, yeah, thanks. I picked up this real nice print from the gift shop. Gosh, it looks just like the original. <laughs> it sure does. Well, see ya. <laughs> I didn't even know the gift shop sold prints. Why isn't it? This week is going so slowly. Oh! Hey, you! Stop! I know you! You're that cop from years ago! Whoa! Oh, way to tip off your target, Chase. I, uh, just want to talk! Uh... Oh man, why do you keep arresting me? You were going to join Chan's gang. That ain't a criminal offense. 
Sheesh. I don't like to tell people how to do their own job, but if you're gonna arrest me for anything, it should be for the painting I just stole, you fool. Huh? Oh, sausages. Thanks, Bucky. Okay, I better get to my job interview. gonna leave a dent. the new boy? Yes, sir! Oh, I was promised a thug. You look more respectable than I was hoping. Uh, well then, maybe you should get some glasses, old man. Ha <laughs> That's more like it! Okay, I need you to pick someone up. Oh, are they feeling sad? In a car! Obviously. The person is Forrest Blackwell. The multi-billionaire? That is correct. It won't be easy, though. Mr. Blackwell is constantly hounded by the paparazzi. They will try to follow you, and Mr. Blackwell will not like this. Got it. Not a problem, because I am awesome at driving. Good boy. Go pick him up at Blackwell Tower, and be polite. He's our only customer. That was a mistake. What are you sitting on? Mr. Blackwell, are you still thinking about the scandal? Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell some privacy. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. One more question, sir. What? Where are you going? Hey, where are you Forrest going? Blackwell, sir, what? don't leave me. It's my job. Where can I take you, sir? Very kind of you to ask, young man. I shall be attending one of the last ever performances of the Perpetual Inbox at the Gillespie Theatre. I trust you have been told of my aversion to the paparazzi. Yes, sir. I'll do my best to shake them off. I appreciate that this may require you to adopt a somewhat, shall we say, 
unorthodox driving style. It could get a little rough. Oh, do not worry on my account. I have ridden atop ships of the desert. Nothing can compare to the discomfort that inflicts upon one's posterior. Ooh. Are you a patron of the arts yourself, young man? Well, I like that TV show with the monkey who solves crimes. Ah, a true connoisseur. So, uh, may I ask what the play you're seeing is about? Authority, regulations, bureaucracy, the usual concerns of petty individual. Sounds like my old job. Ah, to have your plans thwarted by fools. But what can you do? You either ignore it and get on with your life. Or you go mad. <laughs> yes. Mad. Or you could sneak behind their backs and get your own way without them knowing. The third option. Don't tell anyone. But that's the one I favor. Me too. Well, I hope you enjoy the play anyway. Thank you. I suspect it'll be the last chance I get to see one in quite some time. I have rather a long trip coming up. Where did they come from? Well, I think I just about survived that journey, driver. There's no need to wait. I shall be getting home by other means. Goodbye! Goodbye, sir. Ooh, dentist visit today. I bet he gives me a lot of pain. Sorry, it's an emergency. Back to work! That was admirable driving for Mr. Blackwell. Your complete lack of respect for traffic laws proves that you are an awful person and is to be commended. Thanks. I hate traffic laws. Yes. I sense you may be the sort of individual we are looking for. Have you ever stolen anything? I stole some pens. Oh. A thousand pens. From a child with a limp. Excellent. Then you are to be offered a promotion. Go to the alleyway to the left of the salvage yard in Pagoda. My employer will be anticipating your arrival there. He will explain the details. Let's go meet Mr. Chen. Perfect. I'm here about a promotion. You? You look like a cop. Well, I'm not. See? Ugh. <laughs> Greetings, driver. You want to make some money? Stop that! I will fire you, prancing oh. fools! <laughs> uh, uh, what do you got in mind? Getaway driving? Not so fast. Careful driving? No! First, you have to prove yourself. Here is a list of instructions. Follow them, and then report to my salvage yard. And don't get caught like those knuckleheads did! Sure thing, Mr. Chan. Please, call me sir. Why are you still here?! Okay, so Chan wants me to recover a car from his rival while they're having a shindig. I guess that makes me a party pooper. Huh, I don't think I've ever pooped a party before.
police business. It ain't fair that we have to guard this place. Yeah. You know, we could sneak off to that other party by the hotel pool. Maybe. If they started playing some decent music. And serve up some food. Oh. Hey, what's up? There's meant to be I'm a barbecue sure here. To serve up burnt food poisoning in a bun without a barbecue. I didn't train for two whole days to be hey, a barbecue, and it's even clean. I won't have to smother everything in ketchup to disguise the taste this time. Now I just need some stuff to cook on it. What's going on? I wonder if he likes. I feel ill. Is that, uh, chicken? That's perfect. Thanks. 30 seconds and these will be ready to eat. Would you like some chicken tartare? I'll pass. Do I smell food cooking? I think I do. See ya. Dude, my music system blew up. That is the last time I play opera on it. Whoa, you're some kind of electrical whiz. But you're gonna need another record before you can spin the decks. And kablamo! <laughs> oh, uh, that wasn't meant to happen. And now I shall bring her back. Shazam Ablam! A record? Should I have used Shamaza Kazoo? Or maybe uh, Krab Kadabra? Let's get to the no, bank. that's for making seafood appear. Oh well. I'm sure she's somewhere safe. Where is he? Get up to 11. Uh-oh. I think the rhythm just got me. Secret car washes? Get him!
hunt past stayed up so late. I'm gonna get potato I chips. Oh yeah, I like potato chips. Hey, Chase, is it true you're a member of a criminal gang now? Yeah, that's right. I'm working for Chan Twang. <gasps> I can't believe you do that. I admired you, Chase. <laughs> It's not real, Frank. I'm undercover, remember? So I could find out where Rex is and arrest him? <laughs> yeah, I knew that. <laughs> you don't have to sign that good luck in your new job card anymore. Listen, Chen asked me to take a card from one of his rivals. He wasn't exactly a nice guy, but he should probably be compensated by the city. Do you think you can get that cleared by someone in charge? Sure, I can totally do that. I once gave a really important message from the mayor to the mayor. Oh. Okay. I'm sending it over now. See you, Frank. Hey, great work, driver. You have proven yourself to be most reliable. Which is good, because I need you to go to the office at my limo place. The burglar alarm has gone off. I would send Feng or Lee, but they're tied up at the moment. Which is why I told you not to play with skipping ropes during work hours! What about the old guy who works at your limo company? I had to fire him for being too familiar with me, which I regret, as he's my father. If you find anyone in there, I want you to deal with them. Do you understand? Yeah? Oh, and while you're in there, the people who employ my services value their privacy. So don't look at my records! I wouldn't dream of it. What are they doing in there? One, two... men were after me. They kind of are. I'm undercover in his game. Why were you in his office? 
I'm trying to find my dad, Chase. What? Like in a filing cabinet? No, no. I, I mean that just before he disappeared, he was seen getting into a limousine. One of Chan's? I think so. But the only stuff I found in Chan's office were empty money bags from Papalardo's. Papalardo's? Yeah, the ice cream place with the trucks, you know. Yeah, I remember. So if Chan's working for Vinny Papalardo's gang, is it Vinny that's working for Rex? Hey, where are you going? Chan must be keeping my dad somewhere else. Stop! It's too risky! I'll find your dad. It's the least I can do. I am not going to let you endanger my dad just so you can make up for the past. That's not why I want to help you. <laughs> 